Good morning. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all of you guys doing? I hope that everyone is doing well. So, um, I've already um, pre-shuffled and meditated over this energy. So, let's just go ahead and just jump into this, okay? So, the first card out was forgiveness, you guys. And I feel like I feel like you guys have been putting in some work on forgiveness, practicing forgiveness, okay? Um, and I'm also picking up that this person that you were dealing with wants your forgiveness. Um, they want your forgiveness and they're having a hard time forgiving themselves. And I feel like you, you want to, well, I feel like you're struggling to forgive them completely and you're having a hard time forgiving yourself. So it's just kind of like the same energy, but kind of like a little opposite. You know, they want you to forgive them, but they're struggling to forgive themselves. You're struggling to forgive them. And um, you're having a hard time forgiving yourself for allowing this situation to unfold and carry out the way that it did for as long as it did. Um, you feel as though you should have never listened to your heart you feel you feel like your heart led you down um, the wrong path okay so whoever this energy is that wants forgiveness um, they did something to you that affected your health um, for some of you guys it was your physical health meaning this person could have gave you an STD or something like that or this person could have literally broken your heart that actually affected your soul okay like this this person hurt you to your soul. That is definitely a different level of heartbreak. People get their heart broke all the time. But when it gets to the point where it calls um, trauma to a person's soul, that's different. So you guys are working past just healing a heartbreak. You are healing your soul as well. It's like you're having to um, not reprogram It's kind of like you, you're having to um, take your soul through a detox, through a cleanse. Kind of like um, your soul has experienced a very traumatic experience with this person. That's what I feel. Um, this is someone who blamed you. And while you um, blame you you blamed yourself for allowing this to unfold it's like like this not putting yourself first you know spirit wants you to not blame yourself okay but this person i feel like they blamed you too this person they did blame you they blame you for their decisions what they did to you they feel like it's your fault that they did this to you and this could have been what happened in the past because i see this person wanting some type of overall energy of forgiveness and i see that spirit is saying that this is something that you need to work on as well yeah balance forgiving the true act of forgiving is going to bring balance back into your life so that's the thing so a lot of you guys may have been feeling unbalanced unstable emotionally Yeah, look at that. Guilt. So this person is guilty. They're guilty. They know that they're guilty. They know that they did you wrong. They know that they led you on. They know that they, they led you astray. Like, they know that they need to be honest with you. They know that they have not been honest with you. Um, this person pretty much led you on for a long time, I'm hearing. You know, something dealing with another relationship or relationships in general. Um, this person could have told you that you guys were going to have a relationship together. And um, I feel like this person could have led you on. This is spirit saying that you they're wanting you to make peace, have peace back in your life again. A lot of you guys have been praying for peace. And stop blaming yourself. I just keep I keep hearing stop blaming yourself. Don't blame yourself. It is nothing that you could have done differently to have made this person treat you any like treat you better. This, this is something that this person was needed to work on within themselves. And I really feel like that was your purpose in this person's life, to help their soul's growth, okay? 
just like this person may have been some type of catalyst to you to help you um, focus on self-love, like love yourself more, you were the catalyst to this person to help them expand their soul's growth. This person was very, very immature here in the physical, but you know, their soul was like stagnant. They had hit a plateau with, with growing and you, you forced this person to grow up. Rather, you're seeing this in the physical or not, because a lot of you guys are not in communication with this person, okay? You force this person to go through some type of um, soul transformation that nobody else was able to do this for this person. Nobody ever got deep enough with this person to make them want to grow up, want to transform, you know. So, let's see um, what is going on. Yeah, refocus. A lot of you guys have closed out a cycle with this person. You are, you have turned your back to them. Yeah. You've closed out some type of cycle with them. And you have turned your back. You have turned your back on this person. Okay. You're no longer um, confused as to who this person is, like, on a soul's level, like, I don't know. I feel like this person had you some type of confused. Some they had you confused in some type of way. But you have definitely, first of all, this person tried to knock you off your high horse. That's the thing. Yeah, look at that pride and ego. This person tried to knock you off your horse. Yes, they did. This is a very prideful, arrogant, egotistical person. Like this is the this is a Mr. or Miss. I want to be seen. So they just do the most so that people can notice them. So this person could have abandoned you in this process yeah numbing release and abandonment yeah or you abandoned this situation for the last time so whatever happened in the last time that you guys went into separation i feel like a lot of you guys could have released this person you released them like look at that how he's just letting the light go into the sky it's like okay you know what 717 as i'm finna say this so wherever you go like i'm just gonna let you go this is you loving somebody enough to, I'm not going to hold on to you. If you don't want to be here with me, if you don't want to be in my life, if you don't want to share my world, if you don't want to share my journey, then go. So you release this person to the night sky, into the night sky. The night sky, you guys may be star seeds because um, I keep hearing them saying the night sky, something dealing with the night sky. So you guys may connect in the sky. You may connect through the night sky where there's the moon of the stars. So you you both may be star seeds, but this person abandoned you on this journey. They were supposed to be right here next to you on this journey. They abandoned you. This person thought they were better than you. So, and they failed to knock you off your horse. You refocus real fast and you continue to go. And if they did knock you off your horse, you got right back on and you left. It took some time because... The amount of love and compassion that I feel that you share for this, that you have for this individual is beyond humanly possible. You love this person unconditionally. You've always loved this person unconditionally. You love this person more than they love themselves. So, um, this person could have abandoned you for other energies who do not love them the way that you love them at all. They just want them for the looks like how this person look next to them or what they can offer what they can bring to the table but it's not real love it's not it's superficial it's superficial but mind you you were dealing with a superficial person it was all about the looks it was all about the looks with the peacock energy being here how do i look how is this person going to make me look right how this is going to look for my image this person lost the very best thing that they've ever had being in this energy. Okay, so some of you guys said some type of prayer outside at nighttime by the water. I don't know who that's for in particular, but I see somebody praying at night outside because I'm this, this energy, this little boy is releasing outside at night with the light. Some of you guys could have did a burning or something like that. And you uh, you wrote down this person, 
person's name and you wrote down, you know, you just kind of got some things off your chest and you burnt, you burned it like you burnt it. So that was like your way of doing some type of release, trying to cut the cord um, that you share with this person. But um, this, I see this person is trying to numb, numb themselves right now. They're trying to 10, 10 on the timer. Yeah, they're trying to numb their emotions for you. They don't want to think about the fact that they lost you. They don't want to think about what they did to you. So this person is, is numbing. Yeah, they're, they're numbing themselves because you abandoned. They feel like you abandoned them. They feel like, how could you like just walk away this person was so full of pride and ego that they just never thought that you would walk away from them but it was okay for them to be in and out of your life though you know so give me some messages holy spirit thank you this person is fearful they are living in fear right now in the shadows this person has been fearing their shadow work for a very long time feeling fearing the transformation look at that uh, metamorphosis thank you spirit fearing the transformation i don't know what's going on with my camera yeah seems blurry okay let's see is that better no not really but yeah this person has been fearing the transformation don't want to transform they have been receiving signs from spirit and they're they're ignoring like all the signs okay this person could be in a very cold space in their life with the winter car being here this person is they're in a very cold space okay just sitting in the shadows watching you move forward look at that thank you spirit observe watching you watching you move forward sitting sitting in the shadows watching you move forward um with your life they're in a cold space. This person's heart is cold right now. Because this person is like, mm, this person, what is this spirit? Yeah, big dreams <laughs> and awakening and regret. Yeah, this person is kind of like watching you because they've secretly went through some type of awakening. And so it's kind of like now they have all these dreams of you you and them being together because they've experienced their awakening now. And um now they're regretting. They are full of regret. They regret what they did to you and they can't they can't take any of that back. Everything that they said to you, that those hurtful words, how they made you feel like you were less than them. This person tried to belittle you like to others and you know this person talked about you to other people whether you know it or not this person could have tried to downplay you make you feel like you were just a cheap thrill they were wearing a mask they talked about you to other people that's what they're hiding they're hiding the fact that they slandered your name to others you see what I'm saying but now they want to come through with this offer but you don't trust this offer because it seems to be a like with the, the intentions behind it kind of feel like they're not like like a dark off offer <sighs> you, know, you don't trust this person's offer it's something about you know the thought of them trying to offer you something that because I'm hearing you guys say why now or when they come around trying to offer you whatever this is in this cup, you're going to be like, why now? You had all this this opportunity. You had years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years. Some of you guys up to 10 years. You've had 10 years to offer me something and you chose not to deal with me. You chose to put others before me. You chose karmics over your true love, over true love. So why now? That's how you're feeling. But um, this has everything to do with divine timing. So I feel like it was supposed to happen this way. Yeah, tribe is here. So this is letting me know that this person's ancestors, uh, I feel like you guys, I'm not going to say you share the same ancestors, but I do feel like there was a meeting amongst the ancestors, their ancestors and your ancestors um, on this situation. I feel like they, they've been working together with your people. 
to orchestrate this because it was you guys were supposed to be together like this was like an arranged marriage in the spiritual realm um before y'all physically reincarnated here so this person was your spouse before you even came here before you came here this was your spouse your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife you guys got married in the, in the spiritual realm but the thing about it is this person's refusal to wake up here in the physical so they 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 treated you bad they did not know that you were their 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 kingdom husband or their kingdom wife they didn't know and then now that they know now that they know who you are to them now that they know that you are true love you are the uh the embodiment of unconditional love this person is regretful you know because you have chosen a new direction you have turned your back on them you've chosen another path you know some of you guys your ancestors could have came to you and told you to go on another path to walk away you know yeah look at that self-worth self-worth and free will yeah so you guys utilized your free will with the help of your ancestors to choose another path because i honestly feel like you know, this this very much so disappointed your ancestors. Like, this was kind of like a slap in the face. This was like, I just heard a disgrace. This person disgraced their own bloodline because they had an agreement with another bloodline of higher ranking. And I really feel like you guys are high ranking, your people. So, you had to use your free will and know your self-worth to walk away from the situation which ultimately break, broke this person's heart it, it caused a separation okay yeah you guys decided to pull back from this person focus on loving yourself focus on your healing okay focusing on your healing which is causing this person to want to um reconcile with you give you the recognition that you deserve some for some of you guys this is your divine masculine that's in this energy that um is going is that going through an ascension but they haven't told you that they've experienced this possibly out of embarrassment they haven't told you that they have experienced um their awakening but they could have talked so much stuff about you they could have talked so much stuff about what your beliefs are and, and, and made mocked you and made fun of you in front of other people. Look at that coldness. Just like I said, this person was cold. Let me put Yeah. This person was cold when it came to you. That's the ice heart. Okay, they were cold. And yeah now this person is like looking for you to rescue them yeah karmic cycle they got caught up in a karmic cycle and now their heart is cold because it's kind of like they let you they broke your heart and you were just you were innocent you loved them unconditionally and they broke your heart got got caught up in some type of karmic cycle now this person is cold not wanting to deal with anybody yeah yeah so um all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading as much as i enjoyed um giving it to you you guys are awesome peace